I woke up to this morning. I knew there were storms coming. But it's supposed to be like this till like four o'clock this afternoon. Right now we're just under a severe, I, we're not even under a warning, I don't think. But it's nothing tornadic. But that might be this afternoon, which kind of creeps me out a little bit. But good morning anyway, folks. It's Wednesday, the 5th, I think, of April, 5th or 6th. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, this is going to be a very long day. This morning already, we had one round come through with lots of heavy thunder and lightning. And poor Bo, our outside dog, was huddled on the front, well, it's the side step where we always come in. Because I just learned this year that he really hates thunder. I don't know, maybe this is the first year it's really bothered him, but he gets super scared. And uh, I just couldn't stand him being huddled out there and it was starting to pour down rain. So I brought him in. Let me show you where we put him. I put him out here in the entryway. I got him blocked off. Hi, buddy. It's okay. I didn't turn the light on for him because I thought he might be more comfortable. I know he's hot, but I can't get the back screen door to open never been opened I don't think our whole married life because it still has the safety bar on there from when Travis and Olivia were babies so I can't open the screen door for him so he's panting a little bit it might just be from um, nerves too because poor baby he was laying down when I first brought him in but now he's like kind of stressing out a little bit I think poor guy but I'd rather you be in here. I'd rather be in here where it's not raining. But yeah, so we had that. And then we had, while I was trying to get him in the house, which was not a super easy job, um, the power blipped off just long enough for all the computers to go off. And I'm, this is Andy Hill. He's like Ryan Hall, y'all's sidekick. And, he takes over. They're trying to do 24 seven weather. So he works the night shift and Ryan works the day shift, basically. Appreciate you guys. So anyway, I've been listening to him and apparently the bad weather right now is up in Michigan. That's really cool that you have that whole Right where, kind of where my friend Kim Schnauzer mom lives. Hopefully everything's okay with her. But, I am sitting down for some breakfast. So I have to go down and do some area. stuff on the computer before the power goes out again. Six Hopefully it won't. But um, I'm just having now a bagel with afternoon. cinnamon sugar and a cup of tea. So I'll pick you back up whenever there's another update. Um, I do want to have a little chat with you um, later. But my hair is just atrocious right now. I need a haircut so bad. <laughs> And unfortunately, I don't have an appointment until after Easter. <laughs> like two days after Easter, I'm gonna, gonna get my hair cut. So I don't know what I'm gonna do to make my hair look decent for Easter Sunday, but I guess I'll worry about that when the time comes. All right, I'm gonna eat my breakfast. He's much calmer. These two. They've actually been really good with him. Haven't been pestering him at all. So just forgive my hair. <laughs> like I was saying, I need a haircut so bad. Might be a hat day in a little while. But I've been waiting. It's been, a, it's been a couple hours since I showed you outside. I was kind of waiting for the weather to clear up a little bit so I could have a little bit better lighting. And right now we do have like a break in the weather. But yeah, poor Bo. I am really tempted to make him an indoor dog, but 
he is over 10 years old. I'm not really sure how old he is. He used to be my dad's dog and he's been an outside dog his entire life. So I don't think he'd really be happy being in the house and being restricted to just the backyard. He's had the whole property to, to roam his whole life. But I will bring him in when the weather's nasty. I had to actually pick him up and bring him in because he's not used to coming in the house. He was, you know, not thinking he was welcome, but uh, he's a lot more relaxed. And my dogs, they, you know, they bark their heads off at him when he's out running around the yard, but he they haven't barked at him all in the entryway. Um, so they, they know he's part of the family. I had quite a bit of things I wanted to get done today, but I don't know with the weather, it's so iffy. Um, like right now, I actually can, I can actually see some blue sky outside, which is really nice, but I know there's more coming and we're supposed to, we're under this weather threat to like four o'clock this afternoon. So it's like, I'm, I'm in that limbo stage of like, I don't really want to get started on anything because the power might go out and, you know, but I did want to share with you just uh, a little bit of my birthday. Thank you all so much for all your birthday wishes. That was very sweet of you. Um, I had a very, very nice weekend. It was very relaxing. I didn't really have to do much of anything, which was really nice. Um, Friday night, we ended up spending in the basement because we were under really severe weather um, that night. In fact, there were 11, I think was the number I heard, tornadoes that touched down in Indiana that night. Thankfully, none of them were near me. Um, and about two hours, uh, yeah, about two hours south of us, they, a little town there got really hit hard. Um, so we spent the night in the basement. We didn't spend like sleep down there, but we stayed, Olivia and I stayed down there till like one o'clock in the morning. And I have a little tiny clip of her getting Artie. He, she has like a storm cage that she keeps downstairs um, for him, for whenever it's, the weather is threatening and she we go down to the basement. She she takes Artie down. So I have just a little tiny video clip of that. And, and I'm still seeing a bunch of news out of Belvedere, Illinois, guys. There's a, currently numerous firefighters and emergency crews. Uh, and then on Saturday, my birthday was Sunday, but Saturday we had the meal because Sundays, Sundays are a little bit discombobulated because we have church in the morning. Um, and I didn't want her to feel like she had to come home and cook all afternoon on Sunday. So we had my meal on Saturday and it was delicious. Got a couple of uh, pictures of what my dinner plate looked like and the cake that she made. And they were just delicious. She did a wonderful job. Um, the food is pretty easy because it was all like pre-made. She just had to cook it. Um, so it's not like she slaved in the kitchen all day, but the cake she did pretty much all from scratch and it was very, very good. Um, and then Sunday is when I opened up my presents. And so I wanted to share with you just what I got from um, just a few presents that I got. We don't do huge birthdays around here. We do a lot of gifts on at Christmas time, so our birthdays are much more um, simple. <laughs> but let me show you what I got from my family and from a really dear friend. From Olivia, I got this really beautiful counted cross stitch picture that she made for me. And she just put it in this frame. 
It's for me to put on my uh, gallery wall in my bedroom. Um, she just grabbed one of these frames out of my office downstairs. I have a kind of a stash of frames. And um, this one, the hanger is not oriented correctly. So um, Scott needs to change that for me. I'll probably have him do that today when he gets home from work. Um, I would have had him do it um, sooner, but he's been busy with other things. So I didn't have him do that. Um, and then I got this from my friend Carolyn, who lives in Australia. She sent me this recipe book, and it's actually one where you uh, can write in your own recipes, which is really nice because I do have recipes written on, you know, recipe cards, but I also have them written on scraps of paper, and I just need to get them transferred to this book. I might just save this book for like my most favorite family recipes that I go to all the time, like my pizza crust recipe, the dinner rolls that I make for Thanksgiving, um, like the jello salad I make for Thanksgiving. So then I know all the special recipes that I use all the time will be in the same place. So I think I'm gonna do that. And then she included a recipe that was one of her family favorites. And it's um, dairy-free Anzac biscuits. Now, we call them cookies in the United States, but the the Anzac stands for Australian New Zealand Arm, Arm Army Corps, and it was um, a woman's a women's group that were in the military. There's a show, I don't know if they might have it on Amazon Prime, that's where I saw it a few years ago. It's called Anzac Girls, and it is um, it has six episodes, and it's based on this Australian New Zealand uh, Women's Army Corps who volunteered for um, World War I. They worked on the front lines, mainly as nurses, um, and so it was a really, really, really good show. If you um, want to look it up, it's just called Anzac Girls. And like I said, it's based on a true story. So I, this is one of the things I was wanting to do today, but like I said, with the weather the way it is, I may wait and bake these tomorrow. Um, it's like 70 degrees outside and I don't want to turn on the oven. That's one thing. Plus, like I said, it's supposed to be real stormy this afternoon and I don't want to get started on this and then not be able to finish it. So yeah, I think I'm going to wait till tomorrow, but I do want to make these for this video. Really excited about that. This sounds really, really good. Flour, brown sugar, oats, coconut, golden syrup. Um, she said as a substitute, you could use light treacle or stevia. So, I have rice syrup. I might use that instead. I also have um, corn syrup, but I might go with the rice syrup. But anyway, then olive oil and um, baking soda. And she has the oven is in metrics, 175 degrees Celsius. So I'm gonna to have to figure out what that is Fahrenheit. I imagine it's probably like 350 because that's typical for baking cookies. So anyway, I'm very pleased about that and excited. Um, she said that was a family favorite of theirs and so I'm sure it will be for ours too because it sounds delicious. And then she also sent me these, um, they're plum scented <clears throat> little sachets on hangers for my closet. I thought I'd stick one in, a couple of them in my closet and maybe give one to Olivia to put in hers. I would put one in Scott's closet, but you know, guys don't care about things that smell nice. So that's what I got from Carolyn. And then I'll show you what my present from Scott was. Travis didn't get me anything because he said, you didn't tell me what you wanted. <laughs> but I'm gonna have him get me something really special for Mother's Day that's a little bit pricey and um, he has, he's agreed to it already. I won't share that with you right now, but um, 
I'll count that as a birthday present too because like I said, it's gonna be a little bit pricey. But let me show you what Scott got me. He got me this Black & Decker handheld vacuum that we mounted it here on this wall by the back door. And um, you just plug it in and to recharge the battery. But um, I've used it a couple of times already and I really like it. Um, I wanted something that was really powerful and easy to use and so far this has been really good and I'll show you specifically what I wanted this for. Um, I'm going to use it for a lot of other things but let me show you specifically what I wanted to use it for. For my furniture because I have been super happy with this furniture so far. I've really been loving it and it's been holding up really well to all of the dog hair and stuff. But they track in sand like crazy. And the sand is what is going to really mess this furniture up, I'm afraid. And look at this. And this is not, I mean, we have swept this out before. Um, but look at all of that sand that's in there. So I wanted a handheld vacuum that I could use to get all the sand and keep all the sand, probably like once a week vacuum this because that sand over time will just wear this furniture out. I just know it will. So let me get the tripod set up and we will vacuum the furniture. did a great job on the sand but there's still all of her hair stuck in there um, I'm not too worried about that right now I want to go ahead and get the rest of the love seat vacuumed this has a little brush attachment which works really good on the, the upholstery looks a lot lot better a lot better and after I pulled those um, cushions off and was vacuuming I kept feeling a ton of sand under my feet let me show you the pile of sand I swept up just from what came off those cushions when I pulled them off of the love seat right there look at all of that and Olivia swept right by this love seat yesterday so I know that was not on the floor already <laughs> so I'm gonna get that swept up and then I'm gonna work on the couch and I'm gonna do the same thing over on the couch get it all cleaned up look at that you see that those are paw prints from this little monster are you a monster Oliver Oliver are you a monster why did you bring dirt in on your feet? Why did you do that? And then you jumped on my couch. Oliver, did you know your feet were dirty? Did you? <laughs> that head cock of his. He knows how to be cute, don't he? You're going to have to get off. you got to get off of there because I'm going to clean. Okay? All right, you need to get off of there.
and it's really empty really easy to empty it just push this button and it releases it super easy and that is everything I got out of the cushions well, out of the love seat and the couch this was completely empty when I first started so it does a pretty good job the only thing it doesn't do super good about is picking up getting all the dog hair but as you can see it did get a lot of it but Oliver's hair is just insidious it, it goes everywhere I've never seen such a short haired dog shed so much as that dog does so anyway yeah my nifty little um, birthday present Scott said he didn't think most women enjoyed getting like kitchen tools and cleaning tools for their birthdays and whatnot but I do I really like getting this kind of stuff anything that makes my cleaning life easier is the perfect gift for me so when I was emptying this I figured out how you could take the little screen off the filter and yeah that's what was under there so there was even more that's all sand <laughs> there was even more in this vacuum than I first expected uh, thought. So then I guess I just dumped this in the trash and uh, yeah that's I mean it's dirty but it's not got dirt in it anymore and I think I'm gonna have to read the book but this filter is supposed to be washable it's not ready I don't need to wash it yet but in the future it would be nice to to wash it out and keep it working really well I've just been puttering around this morning, not doing a whole lot. It's still pretty calm out. We did have another burst of rain, but no real severe storms. But I was kind of late getting my bed made today, and I noticed that my headboard needed to be dusted. So I'm going to go ahead and get this dusted. Really trying to keep this room super clean. Never wanted to get like it was before. See that? Yuck. This is so dusty. Yeah, it's one it's almost 1.30. Already had my lunch. Just had some leftovers. That's what I usually eat for lunches. Leftovers. I'm not sure what I'm going to make for supper tonight. That's probably like the worst thing that I have to do every day is try to figure out what I'm going to fix for supper. I always ask when I get into these quandaries about what to make and my family has never very helpful <laughs> like they don't have any suggestions and I've tried you know tried making um, lesson plans yeah it's still sticky from the paint um, I've tried making lesson plans I've tried um, you know menu planning and did I say lesson plans <laughs> menu planning I tried that and I stick to it for a while, but I'm just one of those people that I don't really like to cook. I mean, if I'm being completely honest, I don't really enjoy cooking. And so the only way I really enjoy cooking at all is if I'm making something I'm actually hungry for. You know, if it sounds good to me. And so many times when I do the meal planning... When, it, when I come to looking at the meal plan, it's like, ugh, nothing on there sounds good to me. And so then I just end up flying by the seat of my pants anyway. <clears throat> I have made it a little bit easier. Um, for the last few weeks, I've been doing Taco Tuesdays and just making tacos or some sort of a version of of a taco-y type food on Tuesdays, and that 
that just kind of takes the, you know, makes it a, a meal where I don't even have to think about it. And I really love tacos. It's one of my favorite meals. So usually tacos sound really good to me. I've been doing pizzas on Saturday. Um, but this Saturday, I'm going to be spending all day in the kitchen getting ready for Easter. So I don't think I'm going to do pizza. If we do pizza, it's going to be carry out. I'm not going to make homemade pizza. So anyway, I got that little chore done. And it was pretty dirty. So I went and pulled my hair up in a ponytail. And uh, that might be how I fix my hair for Sunday. Because <laughs> this hair, oh my goodness, really need a haircut. But my hair appointment's for the Tuesday after Easter. So I don't want to go whacking on it now when it, the hair appointment's so close. So I'm just going to have to live with it. <laughs> Are you ready to go outside now? Is the weather bad? Is the storming over? Stop being jealous. Yeah. Aww. He's been in all morning, so he might be ready to go back outside. You can just see. He wants to go. Bubble. Bubble. Yep, yeah, he wants to go out. If it starts storming again, we'll let him come back in if he wants to. There he goes. <laughs> of course, now they got a sniff where he was sitting. We had given him some water and gave him a couple of treats, but he was probably getting hungry because we hadn't fed him. He hadn't had any food and he probably had to go potty, so he's a good boy. I really am tempted to make him a house dog, but oof. I was training a 10 plus year old dog. I don't know if that's even possible. Plus, like I said, he really does like being outside. It's just, he loves running the property and chasing rabbits and doing all kinds of things, so. Well, when Scott got home, he fixed the orientation of the hanger, <coughs> excuse me, on this, uh, bird picture and that's where I put it on my gallery wall and I really like it. It looks so cute there. My gallery wall is just coming along. And it got a little bit thundery again so we brought Bo back in the house and he's been really happy in here sleeping. He had some food, we give him some food, and he's got some water. And I told Scott when he goes out later to do evening chores, he can have Bo go out so that he can go potty because as far as I know, he has not gone potty yet today. He may have done this morning before he came in, but uh, anyway, have him go out with him, see if he wants to go potty. And then if he wants to come back in and spend the night in the house, that's perfectly okay with me. If he would become like an indoor outdoor dog, that would be that would be good. I'd like it if he would come in at night and when the weather was bad. And then other than that, he could be outside and run around and play with sticks and leaves. And Scott said yesterday he was playing with a dead vole. If anybody doesn't know what a vole is, it's like a little underground it's like a cross between a mouse and a mole. Um, and he had got it, caught it, killed it, and was tossing it up in the air, apparently. <laughs> so he is definitely a dog that enjoys being outside, except when it's thundering. So this time when I asked Scott what he wanted for supper, he was actually helpful. So I take back what I said earlier in this video. He suggested I make meatloaf. So that is exactly what I did. I made meatloaf and we had baked potatoes and a lettuce salad on the side. And it was delicious. <coughs> well, 
Well, hello friends. It is Thursday now and it is a beautiful day. It's cold, it's like in the 30s, but the sun is shining, the skies are blue, and I have been hearing the long-term forecast is to be nice and sunny for at least the next 10 days. And the future cast is that it might be in the 80, might hit 80 by next Friday. So that is wonderful. So anyway, since it's a beautiful day and it's not too hot to turn on the oven, I am gonna make those cookies um, that my friend Carolyn sent me, the Anzac biscuits. So let's get going in the kitchen. Oh, I want, and I wanted to update you on Bo. Um, last night, after all the storms had passed and, and we actually got just a smidgen of blue sky right before the, um, before the sunset and in fact right here i'm going to insert some pictures that olivia took um of the sunset last night wasn't that beautiful oh it was so nice but anyway when we went out to do evening chores scott and i went out and we let Bo out because uh, he was still in the house and um he went followed us to the barn and went into the barn and then he just started getting the zoomies if you know what I mean it's like he just started running as fast as he could all over the barnyard and all around the property and he was so happy it's like yay the storms are gone and I'm outside and I can be outside and we had said you know if he follows us back to the house and wants back in the house then he could spend the night but nope he did not want back in the house he was completely happy to be outside running around and being in the barn so Bo is happy and i'm happy that Bo is happy <laughs> so anyway now let's make some cookies okay so i'm going to follow the directions exactly um and it says to sift the flour and it's one cup of flour says one cup of sifted flour and I don't have a sifter so I'm just going to use this um, strainer kind of does the same works the same as a sifter then it says to add the sugar and it's three-fourths of a cup of brown sugar so the brown sugar and the rolled oats one cup of rolled oats and three-fourths of a cup of coconut You're supposed to mix this all together. Then in a separate bowl you are supposed to mix three tablespoons of golden syrup. Um, I don't have any golden syrup. I don't have any light treacle. Um, I have stevia but it's not a powder. It's not a liquid. It's a powder. But I do have this brown rice syrup. So I'm going to use that. It calls for three tablespoons. I am going to spray a little bit of cooking spray in my tablespoon because that brown rice syrup is very, very sticky. I loosened it up in the microwave a little bit so that it would be pourable. So I need three tablespoons. There's one. Ah. Well, I had more like three and a half, but <laughs> this stuff, like I said, this stuff is very, very sticky. But it's yummy.
All right, so then to that, you add 3 fourths of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. And half a teaspoon of baking soda. And you mix this all up. And then you add the dry ingredients to it. The recipe says it needs to be sticky and a bit doughy. And if it seems a bit dry, add one to two tablespoons of water. So I think this needs a little bit of water. Start with one tablespoon. I think it might need one more tablespoon of water. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So then I gotta roll them into walnut sized balls and put them on a cookie sheet that's lined with parchment paper and flatten them with a fork. So let's do that next. All right, I think I got them. They, it's said to flatten them to about one centimeter. I think that's one centimeter, I don't know. Um, anyway, then you're supposed to bake them. It says 175 degrees Celsius. I looked it up on a conversion and it's just shy of 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So I just set my oven at 350 degrees and you to bake them for about 15 minutes. So when they're all done and out of the oven, I'll bring you back and we will give these a taste test. Well, folks, this is how they turned out. I don't know what I did wrong. Carolyn, let me know what I did wrong. <laughs> Maybe, was it the brown rice syrup? Was that not a good substitute? Maybe should I have used like corn syrup instead? Let me know because the rest of this dough, I'm just gonna go ahead and pat it out in a, in a small like brownie pan and bake it that way because obviously, obviously I did something wrong. <laughs> but when these cool, I'll taste them anyway and let you know how they taste. Well, they're very, they have a very good flavor. They remind me a little bit of caramel because they're kind of chewy. Um, obviously, this is not how they were supposed to turn out, but they're still edible, and I like trying new recipes. So I looked up the Anzac biscuit recipe online, and the recipe that I found was almost identical to the one that Carolyn um sent me so because I, I thought well maybe maybe she forgot <laughs> Carolyn I thought maybe you forgot to write down an ingredient or something I was just trying to figure out what I did wrong what I really think I did wrong was the brown rice syrup it's not a good um, tr tr um, substitute for the golden syrup the recipe that I found um, online said to use golden syrup or caro syrup corn syrup so I'm going to make another batch. I'm not going to film it, but I'm going to make another batch and I'm going to try it 
the way with using um, corn syrup instead of brown rice syrup and see if they turn out. Um, I just I just want to find out what these look are like um, and just without them being messed up. Now the recipe that I did find online said they do spread a bit and they're crispy. They're dark brown and crispy, which is what how mine turned out. Um, they're not fluffy and chewy. They're supposed to be crispy. So let me go make them another batch of these. Don't worry, they'll be eaten. <laughs> and I'll get back to you and show you what the second batch looks like. So part of the instructions of the recipe that I found online, there was other uh, one difference other than the one Carolyn sent me. Uh, instead of olive oil, I said to use butter. So I'm using some of my dairy-free butter and said to cook it or melt it either in the microwave or on the stove till the butter was melted and the mixture was bubbly and so this is the brown um, not brown rice syrup this is the um, dark caro syrup three tablespoons instead of the brown rice syrup and a stick of butter instead of the olive oil so I am doing Everything else about the recipe that Carolyn gave me was exactly the same as the one I found online. The only difference was the butter instead of the olive oil. And I didn't want to use any more olive oil. <laughs> so I'm using this um, butter instead. And it said you had to melt it, cook it on the stove until the butter was melted and the mixture comes to a boil. And then you add the baking soda to this and the recipe that I found online went ahead and added the two tablespoons of water I did end up adding two tablespoons of water to my first batch but um, the instructions on the one I found online said to just add the water right from the start so I'm gonna do that too since I already know that I'm gonna need the water let me get this going and that's that's the only part of this I'm going to video because the rest of it is exactly the same and um, yeah I'll show you though I did put they just put the rest of that dough on this cookie sheet <laughs> and this is how it turned out one giant cookie but they do taste really really good that's why I'm wanting to do this recipe again because um, because it tasted so good, I didn't, I didn't want to leave you guys hang, hanging on the results of it. So let me go ahead and get the rest of this cookies put together and I'll bring you back when they're done. Okay, these are much more like they're supposed to look like. <laughs> I looked uh, When I looked online, I saw a picture of them and I'm like, yeah, I definitely did something wrong. So this is how they're supposed to look, isn't it, Carolyn? I am going to go ahead and give this a try. Now the, it's they're supposed to be crispy, not super chewy. They feel crispy. Let me taste it. Definitely crispy. Mm-hmm. Those are good. Oh my goodness. Delicious. So I will write the recipe in the description box below, um, the American version. <laughs> Definitely, oh, hold on, Scott just got home, the dogs are going crazy. So as I was saying, I will put the recipe in the description box below for any of you who want to try it. I think the key was the corn syrup, not brown rice syrup. I thought they would be a good um, substitute, but it was not. And I don't know if using the butter instead of olive oil made a big difference or not, but I will put both options for either using the olive oil or the butter in the description box below. And this gave me an idea. If you have a family favorite recipe that you want me to try on my channel, just send me the recipe in detail, especially if you live overseas, 
um, convert it from metric into whatever the United States measurements are, <laughs> whatever we're called. Um, Carolyn did that for me instead, but she didn't change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit, which is no big deal. I can do that. But anyway, send me an email with your family favorite recipe and I will um, do it on one of my vlogs. So thanks again, Carolyn, for sending me this recipe. They are delicious. On my cleaning video that I posted on Wednesday, one of you left a comment and asked what cleaning supplies I use to clean my sink. And I used this Meloria Gentle Home Cleaning Scrub. It's in the peppermint tea tree scent. And I believe I got this from Thrive Market. I'm pretty sure that's where I got it. And then I used this spray, Sprayway Glass Cleaner. I got this just from Dollar General. And then this is actually um, supposed to um, loosen clogs in your drain, but I use it as a drain uh, freshener because sometimes our drains get really, really stinky. And this is in the Valencia Orange. And I believe I got this from Thrive Market as well. I get a lot of my natural cleaners from either Vitacost or Thrive Market, and I can, can't remember which, which I got, but I think these were both from Thrive Market. But you can also check on um, uh, Vitacost to see if they have them available on their website as well. Okay, it is much later now. Um, we decided to go ahead and I was gonna go to town tomorrow and get last minute things, for Easter but we decided to go tonight because tomorrow's Good Friday and a lot of people are off work and we figured town was gonna be a madhouse so Olivia and I went to Walmart and got some things for Easter and then she wanted to go and um, look for an Easter dress and there was nothing at Walmart that she liked so we went over to Belle's and she ended up buying three dresses which she really did need some more clothes so she picked up three dresses one's for Easter and the other two are just for whenever so let me show you what we picked up at Walmart and at Belle's okay, so this is what I ended up picking up at Walmart uh, it's considerably more than just for Easter as you can tell um, I picked up these brown paper bags for a project, a food preservation project that I'm going to be doing. I saw Kimmy from, uh, she's in her apron, used these for, with her um, vacuum sealer. So I picked those up, picked up some garbage bags just because we were out and needed some. And I stocked up on some shampoo. This is the kind that Scott likes. So I got him three bottles, one for now, two for later. Um, this was a total impulse buy. I just thought it sounded really good. Cherry limeade soda. And then I picked up some of these Renews It solid air fresheners. Um, I couldn't decide what fragrance I wanted, and they were clear on the very bottom shelf. And with my back and my knees, that was not a good combination. And Olivia was over in the clothing section while I was buying all the food, so I didn't have her to help me. So I just kind of grabbed whatever I could grab without having to basically get down on the floor. <laughs> That's how low they were. So I got two of the raspberry, uh, one of the after the rain, one snuggle, one in escape, and then two of the Hawaiian breeze. We're gonna have baked beans with our Easter dinner. And so I picked up these country style for Easter. And then I just picked these up because these sounded really interesting and good. I like kind of the sweet spicy combo and things. So I picked that up for later. 
On Saturday is when I'm going to be doing all my cooking for Easter. And I thought, I am not going to feel like cooking supper after being in the kitchen all day. So I picked up something super easy for us to cook on Saturday. Um, the chips are, to, are going to go with it. We're going to have chicken patties. Chicken patties and chips for supper on Saturday. So I got the chips and the chicken patties and the buns to go with that. Um, I saw this shirt when I went to find Olivia in the clothing section and this is, this is Olivia and I couldn't pass it up. I got it for her. Cute but complicated and she loves Stitch. So yeah, I had to get that for her. She just kind of rolled her eyes when I showed it to her but she, she said she'd wear it if I bought it for her. And then the, the dinner roll saga, this is the kind I wanted for Easter. They're just the regular yeast enriched rolls. Well, when I went to in the bakery section, they did not have any where they normally keep them. So I'm like, oh no, now what am I gonna do? So I started looking around and then I saw these. Um, they're just a the dark wheat from the Cheesecake Factory. I don't know, those looked really good. And then I saw these. What are these? These are, I don't know what the, how you say that? Puyellos? I don't know. So I, I put those in my cart, and then I, as I was looking around, I find, found the last two packages of these. So these are for Easter, these are for after Easter. Um, so yeah, there's that. Then we're also going to have coleslaw with our meal. And so I got this coleslaw mix, and I couldn't decide if I wanted to add some broccoli slaw with it. I might, I might not. Picked up some bananas just because we were um, out and we needed some. And then I got two packs of blueberries to go with the, I'm going to make a lemon blueberry trifle for our dessert on Sunday. So that is our Walmart haul. Get this stuff put away and I'll show you the dresses that Olivia, she picked them out and paid for them herself. So she actually bought them herself. I'll show you Olivia's dresses. So this is um, obviously not the dress she's gonna wear for Easter. I mean, I guess she could, but you don't typically think of black for Easter, but she just really liked this dress and I, I thought it was beautiful too with this eight lace overlay and you know the full full dress underneath with the lace overlay and it's very flowy on her it's so cute um, it was $14.99 and it's from the um, brand C'est La Vie and it was in a size medium it was just so cute on her She's, she like, she fell in love with it and she's like, I think I can afford to buy more than one dress. <laughs> so she got that. All three of the dresses are basically the same style, like an A-line dress. And um, there's, these, two of them are sleeveless. The black one had a cap sleeve. And this one, is, she said she's gonna wear for Easter. And it's just so beautiful. And it's got a uh, fully lined, it's fully lined as well and got this pretty little silver detail on it. This is also in a size medium and it was the brand Espresso and it was $12.99. And all three of the dresses were about the same length. They hit her just about the knee, right about the knee, knee length. And this is the last one, and I think this is my favorite. Although on her, I don't know, they all looked, all three looked so cute on her. But I'm just partial to this color. In fact, my Easter dress that I'm wearing is this color. Um, that's why I got my nails done in that color this time. <laughs> but anyway, this one is um, actually a size large, and it's by Harper 241. And it's got this cute little gold detailing sleeveless again and this one was the most expensive at $16.99 but like I said she really needed new dresses and um, these are so cute and I've got this little lace cover look, cover up um, thing that will probably look really cute with these because it is still too chilly to go sleeveless around here 
All right, friends, that's going to be it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, we had a really good day today. It was busy. And um, like I said, I, if you have a recipe that you want me to share on my channel, just uh, email it to me. Um, my email address is always in the um, description box below the video. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful Easter weekend. Uh, Scott does not have to work tomorrow, but unfortunately Travis does. But uh, we're going to have a nice long weekend and we're going to be celebrating what Jesus did for us on the cross. Um, he died, but he rose again. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below and we will talk to you all later. Bye-bye friends.